it is not. Where is Sweden gone? In fact, I've just realised that the oldest flag in the world is not actually in use on this. Where the hell is Sweden? I know I saw them. It was the um, Land of the Legendary Kings or whatever it was called. Oh, there it is. Yeah, no Finland. Russian factions? Yeah, the most important. Kiev. You know, the Russian Vikings. Or the remnants thereof. But again, they were a placeholder. Sons of Rurik. Huzzah! More tea? Go on then. I'll have some more tea. Win Isle, thank you very much for the three month resubscription. Very much appreciate that. Ah, it's still a bit hot though. Oof. So yeah, I think that the five options that we have right now are a good selection of what's possible. Actually, before we do this, what is Denmark's? Yeah, see, they're another... Well, they're kind of naval. They're not entirely. Denmark might be a good mix of the two. Uh, so Denmark is easy. Serbia, I'm guessing, isn't. Man, finding all of these things is going to be difficult. There's so many of them. There it is. Serbia is considered hard. Latin Empire is very hard. Denmark was easy. Teutons was hard. And then Brabant. That's Flanders. Brabant was normal. So Brabant is probably the most... Brabant and Denmark in terms of difficulty would probably be the best introduction. Uh, but we can also try some harder stuff. Okay, we're going to make this a two-minute vote. Bits and looted gold will be available. Serbia, Denmark, Brabant, Teutonic Order, or the Latin Empire. Go. Hey, Zayt, how are you doing? Considering that really wasn't a nation or even a kingdom of Finland until 1917, I'm not that surprised. So yeah, the, the comment I made earlier about the flags. Denmark has the oldest flag in the world, and it's not that. It's the red background of the white cross. So I'm surprised they're not using it already in this. Like Austria already has their flag in this. Adopted in 1219. Really? Ha! <laughs> okay. So we're seven years off. I demand a later start date so we can have the proper flag. I knew it came from the Middle Ages. I can never get this mod to work. Sorry, I can't help you with that, Tiller. I'm not tech support. Uh, I would recommend going to their Discord. Uh, it seems to be pretty active. Ask there. Under the impression was the Scottish flag. No. Definitely the Danish. Like, all of the Scandinavian flags are really old. Would be cool if there was an event to change the flag. Yeah, it would be. Okay, so we're about halfway through the vote right now. So keep those votes coming in. This is going to be an interesting choice. And sorry that the music cuts out when I tab out to see what's going on in the vote. Yeah, what they've done with the music is they've imported it from the other Total War game so it doesn't all sound Roman in a medieval game. I had to be quite careful about that. Because I know that I can stream using the Total War music, that's all good for streaming, and YouTube. But... If they'd, like, had their own music set, I was like, eh, should I enable this? Then read through it, I was like, oh, okay, it's just from the other games, that's fine. Alright, so, you want me to suffer. I warn you, this might well be a really short series now, because we're playing as the Latin Empire. Um, and that's on you. So, the Teutonic Order... Got a measly 1%. Nobody going for the Teutons. Serbia, 
Nobody really wanted Serbia either. Brabant got a slightly more respectable 14%, and it was really a clash between the titans, which was Denmark and the Latin Empire. And I'm really tempted to just go with Denmark, because I don't want this to just end. And I have a feeling that starting a game as a very hard faction in something I'm completely unfamiliar with is a bad idea. I think I am going to ignore the will of the people and go with the second choice. We're going to play as Denmark because I don't just want this to just end. If it had been overwhelming, fine, but now, no. Your interest has been noted, however. Samuel, thank you very much for the bits. Appreciate that. Thank you. So, land of Knut's descendants. Denmark is a relatively new kingdom in the world of Christendom, emerging from centuries of paganism under the Viking rule. Exactly 240 years ago, Harold Bluetooth, the Viking king of the Danes, embraced Christianity, not just personally, but also on behalf of the people. Though the Vikings' fierce conviction in battle was a true asset, forsaking these pagan ways and embracing Catholicism is what has actually elevated Denmark into a true northern power. With the Empire and the other Catholic kingdoms offering support against stubborn Viking pagans, the kings of Denmark now enjoy absolute authority. Yeah, you hear it? Absolute authority, chat. That has never been seen in the region before. No mortal army can possibly dream of approaching Norway or Sweden's northern reaches, making the region an ideal set of easily defendable homelands. Since Voldemar has taken the throne, his ambitions have materialized into significant expansion. The northern part of Germany has fallen under Danish control, and since Emperor Otto, a former ally, has been busy dealing with the unruly princes, Catholic lands in the south, or maybe pagan lands in the Baltic, are free for the kings to carve away into this northern empire. Fuzz, 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 fuzz. Bit random. Guessing that's the person who wrote it. Well, if you need to choose between a Viking and uh, something else, Mordred's going to choose the Viking. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I should have shouted out exact expenditure, because I know there was a fair amount. Helson contributed 400 bits, so thank you very much for that, Helson. And Scapper put in 92,000 points. Um, <laughs> I'm going to need to see exactly how that went now. I'm curious. Okay, yeah, that that's no surprise there. Actually, the big spending went to Denmark. Interesting. So, see, I'm, I'm going with the will of the people. The will of the people with the stuff. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're going to be playing as the Danes. Any special settings I need? No, don't think so. Victory objectives. Challenges. Judgment Day. All AI factions will become increasingly aggressive. Oh, I see. This is how you turn them on. Interesting. I hadn't seen that before. How do I close? Okay, just click that again. All AI factions will become uh, extremely aggressive, attacking you with little regard for defending their own regions. AI factions will also focus heavily on military spending and building armies. Not one step back. When defending or being attacked by an enemy force, you will not be able to retreat your force. Withdrawing units in battles is disabled. At the start of the campaign, you will automatically declare war on every faction. Any new factions encountered will automatically be declared war upon. All diplomatic options for the player are disabled and the AI will never make peace. Story events, excluding world events, are disabled. Subjugate and liberate occupation decisions are disabled. The papal favour system is disabled. And war weariness penalties are decreased. Yeah, I would hope so. Uh, no, we're not doing any of those. We're just going to play this as a normal game. <laughs> 35 minutes into the recording and we're finally starting. You're welcome, YouTube. The funny thing is, that's probably going to be in episode 2. Uh, good question. Not sure what the unit size is. It wasn't in that start game. I think it's on just maximum. Should be. 
Hopefully I can check when we've loaded in. Mod credits, team members. Warman, you guess who? Limited, Phoenix, Yun, Baruta, Silacula, Don't Fear Me, Zimortal, Hesam, Lucamundum, The Fawn Recruiter, Azrian Fox, Banksy, Baron, Alexios, The Culverin, Fuzz Fuzz Fuzz, was indeed one of the uh, devs. D Trooper, Fyodor, thank you all for the work that you've done on this, massively appreciate it, you guys are amazing. And then external use assets, of which there are far too many for me to read. But I will scroll down, because these people definitely deserve a shout out. As a Catholic faction, you must play a precarious game of managing the opinion of the clergy. At the helm of the clergy lies the Pope, supreme ruler of the Catholic Church. Appeasing the Pope may be in your best interest, as displeasing him can have dire consequences. The sign of a great leader is knowing how far your people can be pushed towards a significant dramatic event that should not be undertaken lightly. In a total war game. Okay, campaign settings. That is not what I wanted to see. Game settings. Nope, it's going to be in. Nope, it's not in there either. Graphics. Here we go. Custom. Unit size. Ultra. There you go. Episode 2. Mordred actually plays the game. Episode 3. Mordred unpauses the game. Exactly. Is this mod finished development yet? No. Still in dev. That is a lot of money. Hey, bamboozle. Okay, so we are here Ready in Roskilde. We have got Aarhus. We have Sweden to our north. And I would guess over there as well, unless they literally start with that one. Stralsund, Homburg. Rauschwig is HRE. Groningen is Upstalboom League. We can actually play as Dutch, or they have a faction. Apparently not playable, but they do have a faction. And then there are the Norwegians. Defenders of the faith. Okay. God's chosen. With the king's bodyguard. Early unit. Three unit. No, four units of spear bonder. Who are javelin throwers. Two units of huskarls. Which I remember from Medieval 2 were awesome. Bow bonder. Crossbows. And then Danish Ridder. Oh gosh, we have cavalry. This is going to end well. And then much the same. Oh no, Axe Bonder. Huskarl, Spear Bonder. And then we've got our tech trees, which are just the same as vanilla um, game. Except obviously different attributes and different names and different things. But it is split between military and civic. And my gosh, these are going to take a while. Interesting. So the civic ones are a lot quicker. Is this based on Medieval 2? I, the, the way I've seen this uh, described many, many times, this is basically Medieval 3. It has the quality where it is certainly reaching for that. Again, still in development though. Windmill. I mean... The Dutchman in me is saying this has got to be the first choice. Mendicant orders, Catholic monastery, city charters, population growth, and regular growth. Religious influence of the state religion just everywhere. Blanket. Um, that's a good question. Just how Catholic are we? Where is that going to be said? It's going to be in here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So Sjelland is 75% Christian. Hamburg is 80%. Stralsund is 80%. Aarhus. Jutland. 75. Just out of interest. Can I see how... 70% up in Sweden. So if I did decide to expand towards Sweden, which I'm very tempted to do, then we could do that. And just try and secure Scandinavia. Religious influence, minus one for non-Catholic Christianity, so we're passively converting anyway. Papal standing, five. His holiness neither feels ill or goodwill towards you. Noble weariness. We are balanced in power. And we have Knut's descendants modifiers. Okay, so for technology, I think I'm just going to go ahead 
And grab the windmill. More grain from farms. Right. Fertility is a thing that we need to consider. Now we are in Denmark, which is actually relatively kind of fertile compared to, you know, the rest of Scandinavia. Uh, Roskilde and Aarhus are fine. Hamburg is fine. You're poor. Oh, sorry. Aarhus is also poor. So Roskilde and Hamburg are going to be our production centers. You have got... Now, where does it display population? Is that just growth? Very low density. Wealth, minus 25 from all buildings. So it kind of looks like... Ah, here we go. Population, 3,000. And we can also see the population growth of each of them. So we have 25 nobles, 450 burkhas, and then 250 peasants. So numbers matter. They matter a lot. And population is going to be one thing that we are going to struggle with. But who cares? Manpower. It's just a number, right? Um, so at the moment, Stralsund is by far and away our most populous region, so I'm wondering if we want to invest a bit more into it. Upgrade it to a lot. That's going to spend basically all of my cash, though. I'm not sure I'm happy about that. Upgrade the chapel. I don't think that's really necessary. No, I think I'm going to spend nine grand upgrading Stralsund, and hopefully we can find an alternative source of income. At your command. Meanwhile, we're going to move... Voldemar March. to Scorner. Commander. Get moving, you wretches. And we're going to move we you over there. The then you're going to stay here in Stralsund. The just conquerors. And actually... Journey complete. We should name these. And I was pretty bad at naming stuff after patrons last month. So I'm going to use the patrons this month. I did just update my list. So, where should I start? I'm going to start in the middle. We're going to call this... Walker. Now watch as this army becomes, like, exclusively at sea. Then this army... Ready for orders. That's the character. The will of God... is going to be the will of Mastani. And then God's Chosen is going to be Maljin's Chosen. Whoa. There we go. Titus, spoilers. Don't tell me stuff. Elazions, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Okay, what else do I need to do? Uh, diplomacy, probably. We are going to... Have a word with Bologna, seeing as we can actually reach them for trade. Oh, you can trade regions. Interesting. Welcome, worthy friend. I trust Ooh. you bring words that honour both your people and ours. Low chance of success. However, this would balance my books rather a lot better. So how about I uh, sweeten the deal very slightly? No, you still wouldn't, you sod. All right. Instead of pillage and murder, we prefer the term involuntary crowdfunding. And yeah, that's true. We should probably sweet talk the Pope. England. Do we want to befriend the English? Oh, 
I had these not actually set by attitude. Brandenburg. Hi. My salutations and the good wishes of our people to you. Oh. How about I offer you a little bit of money? Like just just a little bit. Like three hundred. Boo. Pisa? You're a merchant republic. Come on. My salutations and the good wishes of our people. Now, how are these doing? Some of them are trending very slightly upwards. Is there anything I can do to increase welcome. that over time? Speak, friend, and hopefully later we will drink. Nope, no non-aggression for you. Be welcome. I listen. No non-aggression for you. We offer you honest welcome. No non-aggression for you. I'm going to be busy in Scandinavia for a while. We are, as always, a welcoming host to you. The age of the I Vikings is with past. An for truth. Then again, maybe it hasn't. <laughs> Welcome, worthy guest. I trust you bring words that will enhance the honor of... Yeah, nobody wants non-aggressions. Okay. Can we burn England to the ground? I mean, I'm not saying no. Can I actually see the Pope? Yes, I can. And the Pope doesn't hate me. Ah, but if I go to war with other Catholic factions, then he probably will. That's a very blue helmet. That's a very, very blue helmet. Scots might want to be our friend. Might they indeed? Can't trade with them, though. They have no port. Oh, and I'm trading with Sweden. Okay, maybe we don't want to fight Sweden. In which case, I need to know... Are you Catholic? Are you Catholic? Are you Catholic? Ah, you're not Catholic. You are. So the one to go after would actually be these guys. Which is basically saying, you're going to have to go sailing. Course. At your command. Going We're going to get there like just around when I run out of money. I think. For now. But then again, having my ships... Having my units out at sea is actually losing me more money. Uh, ah, yes. Governors. I forgot about that. Okay, so Voldemar is currently the boss man. And what does Voldemar the boss man do? At your command. Voldemar the boss man has raised banner. Increased influence. Increased money from governing. So I might actually want you to stay and govern Roskilde. Because yes, we are getting a lot of commerce income, so... You need to be replaced uh, by somebody else. Now, the only one who's going to be cheap is Niels. Niels is a culture governor as well. You're a commerce. You're a fighter. You're a fighter. This is going to cost me all of my money, though. I think that this is probably more important. So, Stralsund, sorry, you're not getting upgraded. Ready for then Roskilde is... He's on the move, so we can't use you. Niels was a s culture guy. Do we make culture anywhere? I actually have a feeling no. Not yet, anyway. Basically, all of our money is commerce. Well, I'm going to put him in charge of a settlement now anyway, so I think I'll probably put you in charge of Aarhus. We 
which is Jotland. Then, yeah, I can't do you yet. We'll need the merchant in. I mean, putting the merchant in Hamburg just seems to make sense. It's Hamburg. Commerce 500. Stralsund. Commerce 300. Maritime commerce. That's 550. But Hamburg is just bigger. Yeah, we'll put you in Hamburg. Which is...